Ignition. Dunk Diaries is a collection of the best dunkers at every level, showing you what it takes to make the best dunks of all time. This is what you don't see about dunking. My name is Isaiah Rivera. I'm a 6'1 professional dunker. I'm in Orlando, Florida, and I'm addicted to dunking. When I first discovered the world of professional dunking, I saw this from the beginning. Pro dunking was just so fascinating to me and it just felt so good to do it. I was just like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna get there one day. And the point where I felt like I was becoming like good and like this dream was becoming realized was probably around two, three years ago when I started doing my first events. I first met Isaiah four years ago when he was 18 years old and he was super impressive the first time I saw him. He is a freak athlete turning himself into the craziest athlete. He stays healthy. He will go down as probably the best pro dunker of all time. I think I'm the best dunker in the world right now. That's something I feel like is necessary to believe. Like confidence is, is half the battle. Confidence, like every time I dunk, it's just confidence, confidence. You gotta, you gotta know you're the best. First dunk was February 2014. I was 16 years old. I had been trying for a long time, like every single day. And I remember I had just woke up and it was literally the first thing I did was go, like I woke up, went straight outside, put my hoop on 10 feet and went up, rose, got it first try, freaked out. Nobody saw it, ran inside, told my dad, he was like, you didn't dunk. It was the craziest feeling ever. And what's funny is like my second attempt after that was a 360. Like even from the beginning, I was just trying to like see what's next. He has the confidence right now, he has the creativity, and he has the consistency. He knows what he needs to do, he knows how to format a dunk contest, he knows how to get a crowd into it, and he knows that if you don't punch your dunk right, like it's not gonna get scored right. He has all the traits right now. So my first dunk memory is actually using dial-up internet to load up a Michael Jordan video. And it was the play where Scottie Pippen shot a free throw, and then he came in like from outside, outside the key, and did a put back dunk and then like, I just watched that over and over and over again. From there, I just started like watching the NBA dunk contest every year and then I would try to like emulate their dunks. He's so respectful of the dunk game and the dunk history. He's an addict, like, he's a dunk addict. He's, that's all he thinks about, that's all he talks about and he's just obsessed and like nobody else is. My dunk training, I feel like that's what sets me apart from other dunkers. I train six days a week, and three of those days, I'm lifting like really heavy in the gym, like a lot of body weight stuff. Two of the days in the week is just circuit training, and then I have a dunk session once a week, and that's, that's my favorite day of the, of the week, dunk day. I feel like my knowledge base on it like just has helped me a lot, like immensely these past, this past year, like that's what's taking me to another level. He studies like everything he does. So everything that he does on the court, like the way he walks, the way he jumps, like the way he plants his feet, everything's like premeditated. He's like a scientist with it. It's given me a lot of confidence, just my improvement. Like I know that as time goes on, I'm gonna be jumping higher. I know I'm gonna be getting healthier. Everything has a purpose. Every time I dunk, there's a purpose to it. Everything I do in the gym has a purpose. And I think that that's also the future of dunking, like bringing proper training and taking care of your body. And I feel like that's gonna elevate dunking as a sport. I think my favorite dunk I've hit is 360 behind the back between the legs. It's a scary dunk, but I was able to get it and that, it like blew up and went viral. So that's definitely my favorite dunk I've hit. So I have two dunking inspirations. First one's another dunker, it was Jordan Koganen. He inspired me because I saw his progress from when he was around 16 and he was like barely dunking and then just see his progression. It like, that's what made me realize it was possible to be that good. And then second inspiration is probably my siblings. My siblings are in a wheelchair. It's something that a lot of people take for granted, just like the ability to walk. And I can't take this for granted. I just gotta maximize it. Passion is definitely what I love about Isaiah the most and he wants it, like he loves dunking so much. And I do think today, like right now, I think Isaiah is the best professional dunker in the world. Short-term goals, I really want to record a 50 invert. I think I'm like there or close to. And then long-term goal, I just want to be the best dunker that ever lived. I want to keep inventing as many dunks as I can and 
just, yeah, sky, sky's the limit. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you click here to subscribe to TFB, here for Whistle Sports. Make sure you check more episodes out. Thanks for watching.